So here we have my entire basic winter camping kit. It's actually quite compact when it's all put together, believe it or not, and I'll do that too and show it, but I've got, uh, actually just bought this new, I like that instead of pulling a pull for a sled behind me, it's a Osprey Volt 75 liter pack with a frame and a place for my water bladder, so I do have a water bladder with an insulated hose. Uh, because it's at your back, it does stay usually thawed. I've had it freeze on me when it's like minus 20. Usually not the bag, just the hose itself. So anyway, start with my sleeping kit. So I've got an under pad here, a Thermarest a Z light pad. Reflective. Actually, warmer if you flip the silver side up, so it reflects your body heat. Uh, advanced uh, outdoor research, advanced advanced bag, uh, bivy bag, bivouac, and it's uh, I use it all year round, summer included. And it does have poles that you can put in it that keeps that up uh, out of your face if you're claustrophobic. And it also has um, bug screen, which I put on a fine mesh to keep black flies out too, so I do use that in the, in the summer. Inside I've got a mech minus 30, I can't remember the name of it, I think it's, it's a Thor. Anyway, it's a minus 30 and a sleeping bag, very high loft, you can see how lofted it is even in the bivy bag. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. It's my first night in it and it wasn't a good test because it was only minus one, but I was so hot. I slept with my upper body fully outside of the sleeping bag and the bivy. And inside that, and that's part of the reason too, this is a, a Sea to Summit sleeping bag liner. That's not silk, I think it's just light cotton, but it is comfortable, it keeps the bag clean and it adds another probably five degrees Celsius of warmth. Uh, in my, I always carry a, what I call a ditch bag, which is my spare clothing, but when I put my spare clothing back together, I consider it, uh, you know, a ditch bag, emergency bag. So if I've got my, the rest of my clothes wet, if I fell in the lake or something, I'm thinking, okay, what's a full outfit that I could put on and get in my sleeping bag or something to get warm? So this is a, a Power Down 800 uh, full down coat from Eddie Bauer. Very warm, but very compact. Actually, you can squeeze that even lower, which I do once it gets into the bag. And that um, I also use as a pillow. Also in the ditch bag, I've got a, a buff. This is a wool one. It's a, a dicky by another name. And that can be used as a hat, neck warmer, balaclava, anything to keep my head warm. I've got icebreaker, merino wool, 200 weight shirt. I've got uh, icebreaker, merino wool, 200 weight bottom and I love these uh, these darn tough wool hiking socks so they're they're warm actually they're not high loft but they're warm enough so that all goes into this small blue bag and when I compress that it's quite small actually so that goes into the bottom of my of my uh, knapsack and also in the bottom bottom of the next knapsack I have this tarp if I had been staying over another night it it is calling for rain today. I would have set that up and made a shelter out of it just using some poles or uh, whatever. Or just the, the uh, that's 50 feet of parachute cord. I typically can set the tarp up just with that. But for a winter, more robust shelter, I could also make a lean to and cover the tarp. Put the tarp over it. Uh, this heavy bag, that, um, and that, um, fits nicely into the bottom of the knapsack as well. So very compact. The Z light goes, uh, I just fold that up and I attach it to the back of the pack on the outside of the pack. So the water bladder goes inside the slot in the back, um, in the backpack up against my back to keep it there. Uh, all these miscellaneous items go into this ultralight Osprey pack. I'm not sure how 18 liters or something. 
Anyway, it's small. I use it for gym clothes typically, but it's perfect for keeping all the uh, miscellaneous gear together. Uh, this is my emergency fire starter kit. I often have something else in there as well, but that's uh, that goes in my pocket, so it's on me at all times. If I lost my gear for some reason, and also on my belt, I have a striker, which works quite well. So, in the in the Osprey pack, got a first aid kit. Often carry a slightly bigger one, but this is not a big trip. Got some uh, tenacious tape repair tape, which is like it says, it actually is better than better than duct tape. I'll carry this. This is I've always carried this. It's actually good for emergency snare wire, and I actually have snared rabbits with it, and uh, and eaten them, of course. But this is also handy to repair something like repairing a canoe or part of your pack or something. It's better than that. A compass. Of course, is around my neck at all times. Uh, this goes in one of the side pouches, so it's handy at all times as well. Glasses. Again, invaluable. I will never go into the woods or on the lake without glasses. A silky pocket boy. Really impressed with this. That's my uh, saw for sawing up firewood. Anything that size is a breeze with it, and you can go up to probably six inch log and effectively saw through. Good solid blade. Uh, I like it, and then I just use my knife to split the wood even further or to make fire. Uh, feather stick. Feather sticks. And then I've got just a simple, cheap diamond and knife sharpener for my for my belt knife. My Kelly kettle with the hobo stove now, so I can also cook with the, with the pots more effectively on the stove itself. I prefer the stainless mug because I can cook in it as well. But it does get cold, and it and beverages and, and food cool quickly because it uh, transfers heat too easily. It's too conductive for the plastic and the insulation holds the heat much better. Got my one liter analogy inside my outdoor research uh, pack or uh, outdoor research analogy sleeve, insulated sleeve. Not a good test today, but I hear they do quite well keeping the. Uh, Keeping your water bottle from freezing. Waterproof gloves. I like waterproof gloves at this time of year, rather than just warm gloves. Although I carry four or five pairs of liners, warm gloves, and waterproof gloves, depending on the conditions. Then I've got my Atlas snowshoes, and then I have this snow shovel, which packs up. The handle pulls out of the shovel. And that goes into my pack. So that's it. All my gear. I weighed it before I left. 36 and a half pounds, uh, including nine pounds of water. So just over 25 pounds of gear. I could have gotten away with only carrying about a liter of water at a time and just continued to, to fill it up. But it, um, you know, it's not that much weight. So I figure I might as well carry it this time. Okay, so there's the entire kit, stove and and uh, eating utensils and everything. Bag that I'm actually going to stuff other things into. Got the secondary sleeping pad. That is the entire sleeping kit. So sleeping bag, uh, uh, sleeping pad, and a thir minus 30 sleeping bag and liner all in there. my ditch kit, so that was all the uh, warm clothing, extra clothing, I actually have gloves in there now as well. Uh, those will go in the bottom of the bag, that's my camp booties which aren't really necessary. Got a small 8x12 tarp, a sill tarp, sill five, uh, nylon, my insulated water bottle, that's it, shovel, which I'll show you how it folds up, and that is everything. So. Put that in there.
a pack of another pair of warmer gloves in my spot, which for my wife's comfort I always carry. I send an okay message in the morning and at night. Should really be a backup, so I'll be drinking from the bladder most of the time.